everybody. We are on the road for the last hour. We spared you the boring stuff. And we are on the way to Dula, which is an amazing ride. And we are nearly in Westport now. But I will spare you those horrible views and get back to you in a moment when the view is getting really nice. So I put you on hold and I talk to you soon. Welcome back. We are in Westport. Beautiful, busy little Westport. Like really busy Westport. Wouldn't mind coffee now. Hey girl! Thanks! So busy! Beautiful little square and we have to go right-ish, yes. Man, you don't want to come to Westport when it's busy. Out of Westport, direction Lewisburg. And hitting the lovely scenery. nicer away from the traffic wow look at that oh look at that view never looks good on the GoPro that's right never catches the pure beauty nice roads nice view just amazing <gasps> oh my god oh my dream band oh oh look at that I love it Hello, Sven. Oh, the hikers here that's the way 
to Kirkpatrick. Busy enough. Can you imagine that view you have from up there? We made it to Lewisburg. And from Lewisburg, we're going towards Lien. That's where we want to go. Passing Duloch and Killery Fjord. We hope they are going away with their car so we can take the picture here for once. Yeah. That's the memorial there for the famine. We have now stopped at the Wild Atlantic Bay Discovery Point Dugloch. This valley has a very tragic history to it, which occurred on 31st March 1849 during the Great Famine. The memorial is engraved with the words Duloch Tragedy 1849, a reminder of one of the blackest events in Irish history during the Great Famine. During the Great Famine, Mayo was a county being one of the hardest hit. The government introduced the poor law. The poor law would give a small assistance to the hardest hit but they had to present themselves to the poor law commissioner for inspection to show they were destitute or they would get nothing. In March 1849, word went out that the poor law commissioners would be in Lewisburg on 30th March for inspection. Hundreds trudged to Lewisburg seeking help. On arrival, they were told that the commissioners had actually left and gone to Delphi, which is 16 miles away near Duloch Lake, and they should present themselves there the next morning or they get nothing. So, turns out the commissioners were on a hunting trip, so it wasn't even true. But hundreds trudged south, starving and weak, many perished along the way. When the survivors got to Delphi, they were told the commissioners were at a gala dinner with the local landowners and couldn't be disturbed. Eventually, the commissioners emerged and told the crowd they couldn't help them and to go back the 16 miles to Lewisburg and they would be inspected the next day. Most of the survivors perished on the return journey. The road was lined with skeletal corpses for many days. Many had grass in their mouths and being picked at by crows and wildlife. They estimated that some 600 people perished on the journey. And this is a tragic history of Duloch Valley.
Oh god, they look good. This is one of the most scenic drives in Ireland. It is. That is beautiful. Wow, look at you. Oh, gorgeous view. 